In this video, I'm going to show you how to take Inkscape and make a simple part. Today, we're going to make a light bracket. It will be 8 by 8 inches square, and it will have a half an inch hole on each corner with a 1 inch offset, and it will also have a 3 inch diameter hole in the center. We're going to start by opening up our Inkscape inches file. We made this in the previous video, setting our Inkscape so it is always in inches. <coughs> After you open that up, you can see right here it's 48 inches by 96 inches representing our 4 by 8 table. We went over on the left side and go to View, Display Mode, we're going to do Outline. After that we're going to click on our Square tool, we're going to draw a square, we're going to do Width 8 inches, Height 8, 8 inches, then we're going to hit our selection tool, put our X and Y at zero, that's the center on the bottom left. Then we're going to go to zoom, go right here to zoom to fit. That right there will just zoom it into the part so it's pretty close. Now let's say on each of these corners we want to have a square take a square one inch in to have a hole in each corner one inch in. The way we're going to do that is to take our square tool, draw a square since this is eight inches wide and we want to have a one inch offset in each corner we're going to need to make this a six by six square. After we've done that to center this six by six square we're going to have to set our X and Y at one inch on this bottom corner. So we'll do Y at one and X at one. Next what we're going to want to do is to select our circle tool. And simply just drag and drop a circle. We're making this circle half an inch in diameter so I'm going to do 0.5 width and 0.5 height. After that, we could take and try and eyeball to center it up. The easiest way to do is go over here to Edit Path by Nodes, click on this X, and then as soon as we get it over this corner, it's going to like suck right into the corner and center itself like that. So after we center it like that, we're going to take and right click on that, copy, right click, paste. Do the same thing with this. Get it close to the corner and it'll suck in. Paste it down here. Move this over. And you have to click around in the X to move it. And then let it get sucked in. Paste again. Let it get sucked in. Next, we're going to do our selection tool and delete this square. Now, the last part to our bracket is going to be the three inch diameter hole. So, I'm just going to take and just draw a three inch uh, circle on here. Hit our selection tool, do our width and height at three inches. Now, you see this is not centered at all on here. So what we're going to want to do is go up here to center and align and distribute objects. Then we're going to have our selection tool selected. Hit shift, select the outside parameter and then the inside of our circle. Then we're going to center it on our vertical and horizontal axis. And then there's your part. Since this is already scaled, we can go here to File, Save As. I'm going to name this 8 by 8 pole bracket. Then we're going to save it as a SVG. Then come over here to Sheet Cam. File new job, file import drawing, then we're going to select 8x8 pull bracket, 
one to one scaling and bottom left of position of the table and there's our bracket then you could do your operations with your tool and then pulse process it and then cut it out in Mach 3 thank you for watching